Hey everybody, this is Riker Rider, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy. Today we're going to explore the rest of the elemental floors of the Temple of Fiends, starting with the second basement floor, the fire floor. You'll want to use all of your level 7 black spell charges here, because they really aren't that useful. Uh, outside of this area. There's maybe one other encounter where you're gonna maybe want Ice 3. That staircase in the corner will take us to carry in the next floor, but there is some treasure I want to get here. Unfortunately, not all the treasures are useful. This one is, though. This is another Protect Cape. Which we're going to want to give to uh, the Black Wizard. Unfortunately, I was doing some pretty poor planning when I made this episode. I should have gone the other way first, because there's uh, an item that is in another treasure chest that we're not going to end up needing. Unfortunately, the rest of the treasure here are not so useful. Yay! Last money chest in the game! It's a bit of a long walk back, so I'm just going to meet you uh, at the intersection. Alright, now let's head down the left path. This is the reason why I suggested you go left first instead of right, unlike my poor-ass planning. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to drop the black shirt. And in this chest, we get another pro ring, which... In retrospect, I probably should have thrown away the pro ring I had, but it doesn't matter because the there really aren't that many more enemies weak to ice. One more treasure down here. Alright, sorry about the sudden cut, I just wanted to check on something. Like I was saying, last treasure box. This close to the end of the game, I never really thought about what my next LP is going to be. We get another katana in here if you have a second ninja. And again, I'm just going to meet you guys back at the intersection. Alright, we're back just south of where Carrie is. But before we fight Carrie, I do have a little bit of healing I need to take care of. So I'll be right back. Alright, that should do it. Let's go take Carrie on. You're probably only going to need to have one character cast fast in this battle. She's not weak to anything like she was last time. She's not even weak to ice. She does still have a powerful physical attack that can destroy party members, but... If you can take her out quickly like this, you should be in the clear. Just get fast going on your strongest character and get a whole bunch of hits in like that. She can do over 300 damage with her physical attack. No treasure on the water floor, so let's just head straight for Kraken. Your Thor's Hammer and Zeus Gauntlet are going to get a workout here. You're going to be using them almost every round. There's no real need to hold on to the black shirt, except for like wa uh, fighting water elementals here. Alright, we're almost there. Alright, Kraken's just through this hallway, so I'm gonna take a moment to heal up. Be right back. Alright, that should do it. Kraken hasn't really changed much aside from not being weak to lightning anymore. Uh, he can still hit you eight times, and will k pretty much have the capability to one-shot anybody who's not your fighter. So just get that going. Get fast going, and just hope to outrace him. Cast fast on... Oh, wow! Wow, he's not even going to use his physical attack. He's just going to use ink on his first round. Man, I guess this is payback for... <laughs> or more like reprieve for all the times throughout the LP that the random number god has hated me. The random number god is loving me today. Should be able to take him out in pretty short order now. 
Oh, wow. Second ink? He's only got a 25% chance of using that. Man, getting lucky here. He's not weak to lightning, but my black wizard has nothing better to do with the spell charge. Alright, let's move on to the final elemental floor of the Temple of Fiends, the Floor of Wind. This floor is divided up into four uh, square passageways. Alright, remember this north-south hallway for later, because I'm going to be coming back to it off-screen. No, is it on the left side, or is it on the right? Nope. No, it's on the right side. I couldn't remember if the passage I was looking for was on the left or right. Oh well. Alright, there's the diagonal passageway. Coming up on the last treasure chest in the game. Had to take care of some healing after that one. But in this chest we get the Masamune, the most powerful weapon in the game. This weapon is also the most awesome weapon in the game, besides being uh, the most powerful in terms of both damage and hit percentage, literally anyone can equip it, including a white or black mage. When you get this sword, it's almost as if a new party member has been added to your ranks. Well, I'm going to go back to that intersection. Alright, we're back, and our next goal is the upper right corner, but in this hallway is Tiamat, and I need to take care of some healing, so I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Let's take on the fourth and final Elemental Fiend. Tiamat hasn't really changed that much since the last time you fought him, besides having a hundred more HP. So I would just employ the same strategy. Cast fast on your melee attackers and just go all out after that. Now that you have the Masamune, you should be able to deal a lot more damage. Depending on how many level 4 spell charges you have, you may even want to consider casting fast on your Black Wizard. Eleven hundred HP does take a while to go through. He does have a physical attack that hits pretty hard. I'm just glad that didn't kill my Red Wizard. Then I'd be in big trouble. There we go. Got him. That's the last of the four fiends. Had to do a little bit of healing, because we're not quite out of the woods yet. We gotta make it to that last staircase up there. Thank you. Alright, final floor. No encounters here, thankfully. So what I'm going to do in preparation for the final battle is, unfortunately, since I'm out of heal potions, I'm going to use the rest of my curative magic from my Red Wizard to heal up as much as I can. Next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy, the finale. See you then!